Today Matt 2 is going to review the Stanley Parable. Isn't that right, Matt 2? No! I told you! I was going to start my Toku Review Sideshow! Eh, crud. The audience wasn't supposed to know about that yet. <laughs> Matt 2 such a kidder. Now, you see, the Stanley Parable at its core is a game about choice. I said the game is about choice. Not to choose a door already. Maybe if I was in a single still image green screened onto a screenshot of the game, I might be able to. Didn't you make movement frames? What, frames that would involve walking? Well, Maybe if I used an animated GIF using Source Filmmaker, but it ruined this joke. Right. Er, I'll go roll the intro now. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, I, I, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I am perfectly sane, <laughs> I'm sane, totally sane. You know, it seems like these days a game with an omnipotent voiceover character who guides a character through the story, especially with ones with colorful commentary, all the rage these days, doesn't it? You know one thing most gamers, especially RPG gamers, love as well? A non-linear story, especially when multiple endings are involved. The aforementioned games with the voiceover character usually tend to be a bit too linear. I'm looking at you, Portal series. The Stanley Parable is truly the perfect blend of both of these things, but it has one more thing I personally love. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Metafiction. I love metafiction. And when metafiction is handled in this sort of manner, well, it's just perfect. And, you know, I love crossovers, too, so this is just amazing. And don't forget the deep psychological subtext strewn throughout every path that you can take. The story starts off innocently enough. Stanley has to solve the mystery of his missing co-workers. Or does he? Well, that's up for you to decide. There are around 17 different endings, some more well hidden than others, and one of them even involves pressing a button for four hours non-stop. I am not kidding here, I really, really wish I was, but that's just the beauty of this game, truly. Even the game's achievements are pretty wild. 
You think you can click a door five times and get an achievement? Well, the narrator doesn't let you. Think you can jump? Just try pressing the jump key over and over, even after you read the achievement description. Surely you'll be able to jump eventually, right? No, seriously, you can't jump in this game. Mostly because you don't really have to. The game was actually built on the Source Engine, originally released in 2011, and a standalone HD update was eventually approved as Steam Greenlight in 2012 and was released the following year. The original version really, really wasn't much to look at as it only used pre-created assets from the Source Engine. William Pugh, who had won a Saxe Award in 2011 for Best Set Design, and is proudly displaying it in every slot of his item showcase, contacted the game's developer, Davey Wenden, I hope I'm pronouncing these names right, and together as developer group Galactic Cafe made the standalone HD remake. The parts modeled after Minecraft and Portal actually designed like parts of Half-Life 2. It should be noted that they had expressed permission from Valve and Notch, the creator of Minecraft, to make these areas. Also on a side note, Valve CEO Gabe Newell and Notch are apparently buddies, and both seem to love to see creative game makers, as apparent in the insane level build of modability in Minecraft and the Source Engine and the fact that Valve hired the makers of Team Fortress, which was originally a Quake mod, and Dota, which was originally a special game type for Warcraft 3, so it was clearly more than easy for this guy to get their approval. And I'll be perfectly honest, there is not a whole lot left to say about the game without going into far too many details, many of which will likely spoil endings, so I'm just going to go ahead and rate the game. The Stanley Parable gets a 4 out of 5. The only real problem is that if you know what to do, you'll get all the endings, aside from the 4 hour one, much too quickly and much too easily. I really have to wonder if this is intended based on the personality of the narrator. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Until next time, stay tuned. Matt too turned off his computer. With a sigh of relief, he got out of his chair and walked into the sunlight. He felt wonderful, feeling the wind on his face, experiencing the outdoors once again. He felt as if he could forget everything and focus on what was beautiful in life. Why would he want to turn his computer back on and check how many views his review had? He didn't care anymore. Seeing the review done uploading was the one thing he needed to see. Now he had seen it, he would spend the rest of his day in paradise, living his dream, feeling his best. Loving life as it was meant to be loved. But this life must, at some point, come to an end. Because of an unpredictable nuclear power plant accident, Matt too inhaled a deadly gas and became ill. He was taken to hospital, but died inside. A funeral was held in his name, and all who knew him attended. Except you. Why would you want to attend a random man's funeral? Why would you want to pay your life's worth just to mourn the death of a man you hardly even know? He doesn't matter to you. Your life is far more important. You have a family. You have friends. You have people in your life that come before one insignificant man. And that's the very nature of you. You can't put anything before yourself. You can't devote your attention to someone else for your entire life. After this video finishes, you can only do so much before getting bored of it. Then you'll move on to something else. Nothing in your life will ever satisfy you. You are constantly wandering around the world in search of the missing piece of your heart, but you will never find it. You have no worth. You are insignificant like the man that died during the power plant accident. You will come to ruin. You will become nothing. Your life will... Hey, what's going on here? Uh-oh. Get out of my show. Sorry about that. Don't know where that guy came from. My god, it's full of buttons. <laughs>